So they'd, it would wrap all the way oh, around Oh, white here. marble would be lovely. And very expensive. But is, that, is that pot roast I smell? I remember how much you liked it last time. Oh, good. Oh, stop <laughs> fussing, Pamela. But Eric wants our opinion. No, I think he's just being polite. No, no, this is a huge undertaking. I would like as many opinions as I can get. All right, here's mine. I think if you use marble as a design motif in every store, it'll be very expensive. I, this doesn't look like cream. Oh, that's because it's milk, Mother. Eric and Stephanie don't take cream. We'll put it on the shopping list. The only shopping list you should have, Mother, is a condominium of your own. Pam, what do you think? Look. Look at this hair. Mm -hmm. Huh? Sure, it'll be beautiful. But? Marble's really hard to clean. Red wine stains it, coffee stains it. You can put a seal around it, but then people might slip and fall. What about the place you saw today, Mother? Why do you keep changing the subject? Mother, tell Stephanie that you told the agent you weren't feeling well. You mean you didn't even go and look at it? I could tell from the brochure. The brochure? Wood. What brochure? Is there a brochure? Is it in the guest house? Look, dinner's almost ready. That's all right. Pot roast is better the longer it cooks. Let's go. Is this it? You haven't even opened it. Well, I could tell from what you said on the phone. Please, I'm going to call the real estate woman tomorrow and tell her that you're taking this. I won't live there. You have no intention of moving out of here, do you? Eric won't make me. Do not mistake Eric's kindness for something other than what it really is. He doesn't know you, but I do. For years, you have denied me a place in my own family. Well, I've done my penance. I have grandchildren and great-grandchildren who like and appreciate me. Why should I give that up? There is no room for you in my home, Mother. <laughs> there is nothing but room. Do you think I don't see what you're doing? You're trying to set yourself up as the head of this family. Well, that position has been taken for a very long time. By whom? You? Have I ever seen you even lift a finger? Pam is more of a wife to your husband than you are. You are in no position to judge me as a wife or a mother. Oh, then just what do you do? All I ever see is you running off to interfere in Eric's business. Eric's business? I am just as much responsible for the success of Forest of Creations as he was. Oh, I suppose women all over the world are strutting around in dresses you designed. The startup money your father gave Eric, that was your contribution. He doesn't need you to be poking into everything he does. My husband relies on me. Oh, for a comfortable place to come home to. A warm meal, a warm bed. Does he even get that? Problems in a marriage often begin in the bedroom. You don't know anything about my marriage any more than you really know anything about me, Mother. You've overstayed your welcome in my home. If you don't find a place of your own in this town soon, I'll send you packing back to Chicago. Eric won't let you. My husband doesn't tell me what to do. Then that's his only fault that I can see. If he'd take a firmer hand with you, if, if, if he were more like your father... I think you'd better pack. Where's Anne? Eric, I hope you have not been complaining about me to my mother. What? Well, she seems to think that she knows everything that's going on between us. What are you talking about? Our marriage. Look, I'm not happy about this. I really... I really want my mother to go back to Chicago. And if Pam were to decide to go back with her or stay here, that would be up to her. That's not going to happen. Anne is taking advantage of you. You know, Santa Monica's too windy, Hancock Park is too dark at night. Nothing is ever going to satisfy my mother. Then maybe she should stay on in the guest house. Whoa, wait a minute. I thought the whole idea was that Pam wouldn't have to take Look, care of Pamela her. Pamela is happy. 
She can come and go as she pleases. And I think it would be bad for her if she couldn't stay in contact with your mother a little bit day after day. Now, look, I know Anne likes to play the dowager empress, but the fact is she's very, very dependent. Maybe this is the best arrangement right I here. I do not want my mother here. Nobody's making you completely responsible for your mother. You can keep ignoring her 23 and a half hours She is a, a contentious personality, Eric. She's controlling. She lies. She disagrees with you just for the sake of disagreeing. <laughs> well. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see. That's what you think about me. Look, this is a very difficult time. And for you to oppose me every step of the way is not helpful. Oppose you? What are you talking about? You asked for my support on this retail venture of yours, and I have given it to you. Is this what support means to you? Or is it just another excuse for controlling everything? What am I in control of? No, you know, you want to control this whole thing. It's not support. It's like what you did last night in bed. Are you that shallow? What's shallow about that? What's shallow about sex or love? Why did we even employ a minister if you and I are just going to be business partners? Was I the only person at Big Bear? I thought we had a wonderful time. It was like a long, cool shower after a long, long drought. Maybe you should look to yourself for the reason. Am I not attractive to you anymore? This is so typical of you. Just so typical of you. You found the perfect retail place for your store, didn't you? And then what did you do? What you always do. You waffled. I had the jitters. It's perfectly natural. And what do I get from you? Reassurance? No. I get a harangue and a cold shoulder in bed. Well, it's going to be the same tonight, too. I'm not waffling about Anne. I can never win with you. You know, I never will. Well, I'll tell you something. Pam and Anne are staying here. And if that means I have to sleep next to a block of ice for the rest of my life, that's the way it is. Where are you going? Look, Pam said dinner's almost ready. Well, everyone else is working. Because there are decisions that have to be made. So one of us has to be there to make the decision. This is how it is, Eric, or haven't you figured it out? All right, what is it? This is how we operate. You build castles in the air, and I do the brick in the mortar. I am not a wifey wife. I never have been. I can't be and be the foreman at the same time. I don't recall ever asking you to do that. That would have been too direct of you, Eric. You're Mr. Passive-Aggressive. You just throw a dozen balls in the air, and you expect someone to juggle them for you. Me. Well, that being the case, I can't turn on a dime and become the sex kitten. Not even Brooke was that fast on her feet. That must be Eric. Oh, for heaven's sake, go run a comb through your hair. Hmm. Stephanie going to her car. She can't stay and have dinner with her own husband? Well, uh, maybe something came up. Maybe they had a fight and she's storming out. Mother, that does not concern you either way. She doesn't want you here either. <laughs> because you show her up in Eric's eyes. <sighs> Mother, please. Everything you do has to remind him of what he doesn't get from the self-centered woman he married. Maybe we should go back to Chicago. Is that what you want, Pammy? It's so unfair. Look at all your sister has. And what did she ever do for it? Except marry a man who's too good to desert her. You know, I really don't want to talk about this now. <laughs> You're just like me. You'd rather overlook what's unpleasant. Well, Stephanie opened my eyes in more ways than one. It's a terrible thing to say, especially when I know I'm partly to blame. But she's a damaged person. I love her dearly. And I suffered all those years I had to live without her. But the person who's got it worse is the man who has to live with her. 
Eric is a fine man, don't you think? Yes, I do. He deserves better. He deserves someone more like you.